Jumping into the football manager. We sold Mikhail Agil Ellardson to West Ham for $17 million. Nico Jankovic to Estrella de Amadora for 10 Porta Nova to Al Khalij in Saudi Arabia. Felipe Sanchez to Club Bruges for six and a half. Ayman Mufek and Tais Dalinga sold for five and a half. Brian Kufre for six for four point five. Gautier Larsonnier, our goalkeeper, for four point four. Yvon Massol for three point eight. Pablo Mari for one point five. Marin Peel Pile for five hundred K. Benjamin Bashari, thank you for the four hundred K. Uh Christian Maladov for the three hundred K. And we uh, they released a couple of people as well. So we have sixty eight million in sales. We have spent four million in the transfer market. Um, so we have a little, we have a little money to spend. You know, just a little bit. Uh, we've purchased Nuno Lima for free. He is a center back that's going to step in and be an automatic, like you know, plug and play, good player, competent, uh, well rounded. Uh, Luca Dean. He's coming in to play left back. He is uh, he is here. Down to clown. He's been purchased for like 1.1 million from the Premier League. Liam Scales, who's come in to back up left back and uh, left center back. Of course, Saint Lullamilla Bad Boy has been purchased. He's already made his league de debut off the bench. Uh, and after his catastrophic Achilles injury last year, we've noticed his potential is still A+, plus, very high. He's unflappable. He has tremendous professionalism as well, and his development will follow the curve. Pedro Bravo for $1.8 million, tremendous ball-winning midfielder, signed up from uh, the uh, sporting that we bought him from. He's a very good player. Great size, great athleticism, great mentality to get after the ball. Um, we like him. We signed Kevin Mbabu as our backup right back. The Swiss international, very well-rounded, respectable type of player with a good competitive experience at a very high level. We spent a million dollars on Stefan Lakovic. Lakovic, he got sent off in our second match of the season, but he is a talented young center back. And we brought in goalkeeper Claudio Ramos as our number one. And he's had a good first couple of games, so he's already getting worse, so that sucks. Calvin Ramsey, I have no idea how he ended up out of a contract, but we pounced immediately and added him to the team as our new right back. Mike Fay or Mikhail Fay, a center back who we were able to pick up for free after he left Barcelona's academy. Or he spent four years, actually. Alvaro Rodriguez, our striker, who we brought in on a free, 6'4", 182 pounds, Good size, good finishing from the Real Madrid Academy. Alaji Bamba, who's an academy player that I didn't even know he'd signed because I wasn't here when he signed. And Branko Vandenboomen, who's become the captain of the team and scored three goals in the first two matches for the club. He is our best player right now. He is the number 20, and he is a very, very good player who came from Ajax after he was there the last four years. Branko Vanden Boomen. Caffer will be on the bench because he's not actually under a transfer bid. Once you're under a transfer bid, I really don't want to have you on the field anymore. All right. Do not type Mark Ferrari. I've heard he's fast. Nice. All right. The boys in green, St. Etienne, with two teenage wingers out there. This is a wide field, dude. Wow. Nimes Olympic. You need all this space? Vanden Boomen. There's an obvious ball out to the wing here that we're not we're not seeing. Uh, that's okay, Rodier. Oof. Oh, great ball back in. We have two wingers that aren't actively leaving the club right, and there's no way, bro. And we give away a penalty on a set piece. All right, Claudio Ramos, this is your time. Ah. Oh, it's Alvaro Rodriguez! Cookies! Some highway robbery by Alvaro Rodriguez! He's caught the goalkeeper with his pants down! 
And the Real Madrid Youth Academy man with the easiest goal of his career to date, Alvaro Rodriguez. Alrighty, that'll be my ball. Thank you very much. Lelamilla Bad Boy on the move. Okay, here we go. Lelamilla Bad Boy. Lelamilla Holy. Nope. Oh, it's in! Vanden Bauman. Ramsey. Oh, Rodier! Oh, wow. He just. Totally freaked him out. Nice play, Lima. Vanden Bowman. Hunting his goal out there. Look out. Bravo. Bad boy! Well, this was a complete performance. We gave up the penalty on a set piece, but other than that, complete dominance. We don't even have our team together yet. And we're already we're already taking care of business. Three wins from three in my tenure at Saint Etienne. Our new job, our new opportunity to manage and win trophies, and it's us and Mets at the top of the league. Ah, Paris FC. It's your friends that helped relegate us last year. Nice, Alvaro Rodriguez. I love when guys like that from uh, like Real Madrid's reserve team get the opportunity to play first team ball, and you're like, wait, they're actually quite good. Alvaro, Rod Alvaro Rodriguez is living that life. Oh, yeah, we're waiting on Ilya. Errol Shimshir, I'm going to ask for your confirmation, dude. We just don't have enough wingers on the team. I want, I'll want. i sign you right now. Errol Shimshir. We we need wings. I, I literally, like with the guy that we're going to have to get rid of, Kafaro, um, I only have two wings on the entire team. We need guys that can take the ball on the outside and make a play. So Errol Shimshir is in. Welcome to the team, homie. Dang, uh, yeah, but I'm just not getting in. But this is like really catastrophically annoying. But I'm just like not getting inbox messages when players are done scouting, and who knows what we may have missed out on. Um, remember to change corners. Thank you. We will do that. Attacking corner taker. We want to unset this because we have Luca Dean and Bronco Vandenboomen that can take really good corners. Hell yeah! Oh, we did get Dennis Kagan. Another guy we can pick up for free. What's his playing time expectation? Fringe player. I see no reason to, to avoid bringing Dennis Kagan in. A free acquisition as we continue to build a very financially healthy club with all of our sales and signing free players that are just going to make our team better. What a good player Bengani Kumalo is, by the way. Uh, he's extremely keen on a move. So we're going to bring two guys from the uh, Orlando Pirates. Going to keep each other company. We're going to go get Bangani Kumalo. They did forget to know. Like, or, you know the game's just messing up, and we didn't get the notification in our inbox that we'd finished the uh, scouting report. That's just $39,000 on top of the 400000 for Kumalo. So they also finished scouting Badili and Tula. Uh, yeah, I mean, we, I finished a bunch of scouting reports, I'm sure, on players that I would be, like, pretty interested in. I just, um, they didn't tell me. You didn't tick the, the requested reports on the first settings screen. I saw it on the, what the? F of course, Bournemouth arrives. In the nick of time with a giant offer. Hey, well, you won't be a regular starter at Bournemouth, will you? No, I've got to go squad, but I'll go important player next year. And I will match, you know, I will give you the amount of money that you are hoping to get here. I'll give you a 10% yearly salary raise, a top division promotion salary raise. I'm going to blow your monetary expectations out of the water, Bungani. Daryl Linehan is actually going to get that move. That's ridiculous. Sharp eye seeing that, but it's not the, it's not the problem. It's not minimum grade. We have it at the lowest possible. No, nope, it's just borked. It's borked. It don't work right now. I think we gave him enough money, lads. I think Bagani Kumalo is like, dude, 900000 a year. Important player in the future. I, uh, I think so. It's just frustrating. 
Like I want to get my inbox messages. Like I, I want, I want to get my inbox messages. You know what I mean? Like I, I, I really want to get my inbox messages for scouting. We do have our set pieces arranged the right way. We've got taker on both sides within swingers. Reasonable enough. Um, okay. We've won our first three matches. We're going to try and continue that. Bengani Kumalo wants two. He gets 22. You want a good number, Errol Shimshir. You're getting 14. Vanden Bowman, FCON, Alvaro Rodriguez. This is an excellent passing combination. Calvin Ramsey. It's Errol Shimshir. Maybe that would be a good trait to have in the game. Don't know how common it would be. All right, Maxime Rodier. Oh, what a touch! Samaj, thank you for the 32 months. Uh, no, we are not. Believe it or not, we're not beating PSG yet. We're having a bit of a frustrating moment in the transfer window where we can't seem to get more, like, star players into the team. We've got good depth, but it's like we could get, we could add one real superstar at each level with the money that we have, and we just can't do it right now. And Luca Dean is struggling, so Jacques Ecomier is... Nah, I mean, we need... We need the offense. Luca Dean's had a rough start to his career here, but hopefully he can give us something more. Well, that was a good time to get hurt after we just made all those changes that make making a change in this position virtually impossible. So uh, Vanden Bowman's going to go up there. Nuno Lima's going to go there. Bengani Kamalo's going to come in. Do -do -do -do. All right, we'll bring the fullbacks up. Both of our fullbacks can do that. Please, Branko. Dang it. Rodier. Branko. Dean. Goal! Well, that's a great ball to Rod. How dare you rob our boy, Lelamella bad boy, of an assist there, Maxime Rodier. Mika Fai. Amogu, he's probably off, but he might not be. Oh, Stephen O'Day! That's what a waste on an offside. Oh, Maxime Rodier, nice ball. Ramsey, you see Lelamilla bad boy. You see options in the middle. Bad boy doesn't see them. He sees glory. Well, we managed to have to sell the whole team and build a team that could still win the first four matches of the league due a season. We are level with Mets, and we are hoping not to look back. That wasn't our prettiest win, but we were able to work our way. Oh, wow, he's out for two months. That sucks. I feel terrible for him. This poor dude, he's one of the few guys that was like, I'm going to stay. He is literally the only guy that was in the starting 11 of that match that was on the team when I got here. Left and right. Okay. Uh, left wing. I'm already working on Perea. So. Nice try, Shelderup. Dude, there's no way he would even be interested. Andreas Shelderup is way, 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 way too good to be on our team. Whatever you say, boss man. I've never heard the name Stefan Trakov before. Ever, ever. But maybe. The dude's at AZ and he's only worth 5 to 12 million Then he definitely... You know what's crazy? Ivan Alves being worth 50 to 70 million means that his potential must be absolutely insane. Ivan Alves's potential must be bonkers. Uh, Mateo Cafaro, who made it clear that he would, have, he would like to leave the club after transfer interest... You've been here for six years at St. Etienne. It's time to clear out the mess. Seven more million. What's up? We have $62 million in our balance in the second division with a $56 million transfer budget. Wait. Uh, 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 oh, shelter up. Uh, we finished the report on Andreas shelter up. He's only twenty million, and he's extremely interested in a transfer. That's the guy. 
He's asking to leave Benfica. I don't know why, but that's, I mean, that's the guy. He All he wants is initially agreed playing time. They just messed up how much he was playing. I think we, I, I mean, this is a bona fide star player for us. I, I'm in. I'm totally in. Grigory Vasilenko, that uh, talented young center back from Russia. We're just yoinking him out of Russia on compensation. I, I can't resist a good signing. Uh, and Alvaro Rodriguez is out there. Who are we playing? Anansi? Something like that. That sounded right. Nice work there from Amugu. All right. Venden Bowman. Diallo. Keep it moving. Keep it moving. You see the... Come on. Just get... Oh. 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 They were concerned about Alain Diallo's output in his first start. Well, they should have been concerned about what he was going to do to Anansi. What a hit! I love those types of shots that bend over the top of the keeper. Not the, one, not the ones that hook as much as the ones that you feel bend over the top of the keeper. Well, that's a pen. So that's great. Shimshir, Alain Diallo, Maxime Rodier. Square it. Oh, I don't. That was a tough angle. Oh, yo, Amugu. But as a bad pass to Ramsey, pushed him way away from the dangerous area. But how can I hate Vanden Bowman? He just wins the ball right back immediately. Alain Diallo. Alain Diallo. He is a good dribbler. Oh, he brings it back to Branco. What a pass! That's a gut punch right there, dude. That was not a particularly good chance for them. They have not really been on us that much either. I want something else. We're getting crazy out here. Well, they've broken out. This is not a good spot for our formation to be in. Oh, nice. Dude, look at what a terrible ball. Oh, all you have to do is get that up the field, Claudio. Couldn't get it through the defender. Everybody in the goalkeeper's up now. Branco, Vanden Bowman. Come on! Oh! Yeah, they had two chances the whole game. We gave them a penalty in the first half, and then that one defensive mistake in the second half, and we um, scored that banger super early. But that's a really disappointing loss considering the way the match went. And that drops us off the pace that Mets is setting. Andreas Shelderup. Once is initially, what was it? He once is initially agreed playing time, had a falling out at Benfica, once an opportunity to go somewhere and play. Hell yeah, brother. Hell yeah. That's the signing of the year right there. That is the signing of the year. That is the type of signing that elevates a team so ridiculously. Andreas Shelter up, just an elite player. That one goes up to the director of football. I didn't even think somebody like this was in the target range for us. And I asked him, and he went, you know, Shelter up is... Um, upset at his club right now and i was like really no all right lorenzo Saucede, the 19 year old mozambique league midfielder and all we had to do is pay thirty-seven thousand for him and promise him some serious playing time so he's going to be getting on the field some all right meanwhile who are we playing we have all uh, we, we have Andreas Shelder up on the team now. Our twenty million dollar record breaking signing against the number seven and Lorenzo said who gets seventeen. The guy that we just signed for the Mozambique League who just turned nineteen. I expect the win tonight. Shelder up, Andreas. Oh, that, I mean, it's a penalty. I don't even know who drew it. They both got just destroyed. Branco. Br 
Okay, Boomer. Yes, nice. Oh, no. All right, Ramsey. Oh, I hate that pass from Errol Shimshir. He should have taken a touch and shot the ball. Vanden Bowman. Shimshir, that's better. Andreas. Andreas shoulder up. Branko Vanden Bowman. Oh, slick pass in Diallo. Brilliant. Alain Diallo. Uh, guys, guys. And up to all the way. Very attacking. Man, hit that ball up to the back post, will you? Oh, good pass. Jeez, Ramsey. Oh, that was them. Back to Rodier. Ramsey. Do not shoot that, you idiot. Near side. Oh, good ball. Bad boy. Offside. It's off. It's off. It's off. It was the guy that crossed it. It was the ball back in. It was offside. Uh, yeah, I mean, he's pretty, pretty clearly off, Rodier. Well finished, obviously, in a clutch moment, but. All right, very important deadline day coming up. Very important deadline day coming up, right? We need good signings. Uh, this is um, one of the more difficult spots I've been in. I know we need to add, but I just don't know what I'm going to add. What is wrong with my save? So many random weird things are happening. It's making me uncomfortable. I've gotten three loan notifications for a guy that's not on any list that I click not interested on. In like an hour and a half. Stop. I'm going to reject it. All right. The defensive midfielder we liked, Alex Carbonell, has um, wants to reside in the nation that he lived in currently and has decided to stay with all of us. So we are still waiting on Sedu Torre. Um, all right, Stefan's in. So we got some good news. We got our goalkeeper. Zach Stefan is in. We needed competition at that position with Ramos. I, I think Zach Stefan's a better keep, and uh, we've loaned him in for the year and covered his wage. Oh, okay, sweet. Gregory Vasilenko got a good loan. Things are starting to look up. Right wing, Sadu Traore for $1.1 million. Zach Steffen in as the goalkeeper. Saidu Torre, the Southampton youngster who spent last year on loan at Aberdeen. Tejan's received offers, so he is going to move. Mario Martin, sweet. So we're waiting on Martin Georgiev. He's still deciding. But we're dropping $7 million up front for a very talented younger midfielder in Mario Martin. Probably good real sale value here, but this guy's got a good feel for the game. Very good defensive midfielder type player. Good athleticism, covers the field. We don't like that he mildly dislikes big matches, but this gives us three really, really, really good options at defensive midfield, and right now, we only have two. Dude, my team is so talented that they want him as a regular starter in league all. We'd be loading him out into the league above us. I, I'm actually going to take that. Do, 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 do. Fringe player at Nice. Oh, this is loan him in. I'll just sell him and loan it a backup for a year. Evan Gasson. He's like a he's better than O'Day. <laughs> we'll just loan him in as a backup for the year. Screw it. Dude, they're taking. 
making the deal. He gets a 15% sell on, but we get 5.5 million. They're taking the deal even without the uh, work permit. They signed him anyways. We're getting the 6.5 million. Hey, Steven, you were one of the few guys that was on this team when it got relegated. That's still here. Mad respect, Steven O'Day. Thank you for getting me some cash. When is the decision coming, bro? You have to choose. There's two hours left, Martin. The other bid's gone. I'm your bid. Take the bid, Martin. Martin, there is 45 minutes left. It's going to resubmit that there, Martin. Hey, Martin. It's going to give him a just poke him real quick, like try and wake him up. Scheme's broken, man. Scheme is broken. That deal was set like days before deadline day, man. We had the deal done days before deadline day. And he didn't accept. Even after Frankfurt pulled out, he still didn't accept. That I've really been enjoying FM24, but today and a little bit of yesterday, it feels like there's some broken things in it. So we don't have our we we don't have a center back. We did we didn't get our last center back edition, so the Lekovic loan actually has left us a little short in the center back department. We may end up signing this weird uh th th you're not weird, sorry. This Syrian dude. The free center back. Some sort of deal. But I, I mean, I, I, is, I don't know how the skin would just immediately make the game weird. We've been using this skin for years. A little late now. God, it's so ugly. Like, how do you not put attributes on this page? Our final signing of what has been a, a profligate transfer window. Anthony Ruel, who steps in as an experienced center back for the last four years for the team in Ligue 2. A very accomplished, confident, athletic, good with the ball center back. It can help us play out from the back with quality. 7.5 million for Anthony Rural. In the Joker transfer window, what's up? Yeah, Chad, I'm not thinking it's a skin issue. We just got three loan notifications for Jakob Yaksh consecutively. I don't even know who this guy is. He's not even on a short list of mine. He's just previously scouted, and that's getting thrown in here. All right, Lorenzo Said, you are playing today. I am excited for you. I hope you're able to give a good show of your ability, and I want a dominant, dominant display. We should own these guys. We really, really should own these guys. Um, Make more aggressive passes to open up the team. We're really spread teams out, so there should be a good space in the middle for us to work with. Ooh, oh, my. Alvaro, you're like the weak link in the team, man. How did that happen? We have been really dominant. Vanden Bowman. Oh, Rodriguez is hurt. What an excuse. What an opportunity. God, guys, what in God's green earth are we doing? We're just get, like, they're not even pressing us. Oh, nearly slipped through. All right, shelter up. Bravo. Oh, say to square it. Shelter up. Nice. Oh, nicely done. Oh, Sadu. I liked it. Well worked by Ramsey. He's drawn too, so if he can get this in. There you go. Pen. Oh, never mind. Alain Diallo. Shelter up. Love it. Love it. Shelter up turning on the style. Oh, we've got Vanden Bowman. Oh, we've got Gasol. Evan Gasol. Uh, we don't know if he's on or not. 
I think I think he was on. I mean, yeah, there you go. 3-1. Stick it out. Believe in the process. You know, you should never, when you allow one goal, you should never be like, oh, the tactic's bad, oh, we're screwed, season's ruined, you know. <laughs> Trust the process. Great work, dude. That is tremendous work. Great heart. I like Gasson getting a goal in his debut. And uh, Mets Drew, I think. So that's that's great news. Mats drew against Valenciennes and a 90th minute equalizer from Valenciennes. So that's that's sick. Auger beat Quivilli Rouen in the 92nd minute. So still sucks to beat Quivilli Rouen apparently. Alvaro is out for the next match as well. So Gasson has a chance to just like put both hands on the starting uh, starting job. 